Kasargod, the beautiful land of seven languages, is steeped in natural and cultural diversity. Come explore our pristine beaches. How about a little kayaking in our backwaters? Or perhaps you'd like to soak in the folk art and dances our city has to offer. Kasargod, once you're here, you might never want to leave. Do you know what fear smells like? Well, I do. Let me take you to my hometown, Kasargod. Long back, when I was a teenager, I received a message late at night. It was a picture of my friend who was stabbed to death. He was a friendly person to everybody, but instead he became a victim of hate crimes. Here is another instance when I smell the fear again. You know, Kerala is famous for its hartals and strikes. Nobody goes out, people might sto throw stones at you. I was curious to know what happens if I go out. And I took my motorbike and went to the city. And nobody was there. It was completely empty. The shops were closed. I was taking a pocket road towards a bus stand. And suddenly, I stopped. There was a huge cement block lying on the road. I heard some screams. When I turned back, a bunch of people were approaching towards me with iron roots and sticks. I got scared. But somehow, I pulled the bike and got over it and ran for my life. But I did not stop there. I continued. This time, it was really terrifying. The road was blocked with burning tires. And the sad reality, it was angry youngsters everywhere. This happens quite often at Kasagod. Even now, the government employees who come to our place see it as a punishment. I was suffocated by this place. I was struggling myself, and at the same time, I was having a battle inside myself. After college, I stayed on bed for months. Not knowing what to do, I was in a confused state, having a lot of worthless thoughts. But I was not the only one. This was the story of many youths in Kasagod. While I ended up in mental breakdown, a lot of others got into drug trafficking, gold smuggling, and even extremist ideologies. I did not want to end up my life on bed. I tried hard, I pushed myself, and I got into a university. And this was one of the best things that happened to me. I was engaged. I met friends who supported me and encouraged me. I started myself transforming. I got out, out of Casa Good. I, work, I started working with NGOs. I started to volunteer. The shy and scared me became someone who took initiatives and found creative solutions. At the same time, I noticed something. The same transformation that was happening to me was happening to the youth with whom I was volunteering with. And that is when, along with my friends, I started our organization, Fireflies. <laughs> At Fireflies, we see volunteering as a powerful tool to engage the youth and create a positive mindset change. We work in the areas of disability, alternate education, environment protection, and so on. During a volunteering activity, you can see the youth painting the walls of a primary school, coloring the lives of children who are living there. But don't you think the youth need a place to gather? Well, we tried that too. In 2020, we hired a space, an old home. We colored it with doodles. We organized some events. And uh, we could not feel the suffocation anymore. 
but we lost it. We were too bad at fundraising. <laughs> and that is when Kantari has come to the help of us. Now, we have the tools and techniques. In three years from now, you will see a hub, a space for the youth in the heart of Kasugod City. <laughs> and we call this space, we call this hub, Chimmini Kudu, which means tiny and strong kerosene lamp in Kasagod dialect. Once you enter Chimney Kud, you can see an old bus converted into a reading room. This will be painted with graffiti, doodles, and decorated with colorful flags. And when you start walking through the stone paved pathway, you'll reach to a cafeteria made of bamboo and palm leaves. And while sipping a cup of coffee there, to the far right, you can see an amphitheater made of uh, tires and cement blocks. Now they have a different purpose. Instead of blocking the roads, they are connecting lives. But this is not enough. There is another generation growing up in Kasagod, the younger ones. We will work with the children of Kasagod. We'll take them for trekking to the hills, for swimming at the Bakel, and kayaking at Tejasini River. And this way, they will start loving nature and loving their hometown. And they will realize strong friendships are, friendships are based on shared experiences rather than shared ideologies. Let me show you a map of Kasagut. This looks really hot, isn't it? Well, this is not a map of weather. Instead, this is a representation of heat of communal violence in Kasagod. But at Fireflies, this is not how we envision Kasagod. We start at the center of the city. We will expose the youth to the diversity of Kasagod. And this way, we will bridge the gap between isolated communities. And this will reveal the beauty of a pluralistic society. Thank you.